When we are working with decimal, fraction, and percent, it is very useful if we can convert any of these into either of the others. I'm going to illustrate that here. First, let's convert 0 0.385 into a fraction. We count how many numbers we have after the decimal point, and we have three. So what we do is we make a big fraction line, we put a thousand on the bottom, a one with three zeros, one for each of these numbers. And then we put the number 385 on the top with no decimal. We have now converted 0 0.385 into a fraction, but this fraction can be reduced, so we will do that. Both the top and the bottom have a common factor of 5, so I will divide both the top and bottom by 5. I get 77 over 200, which cannot be reduced anymore, so I have converted my decimal into a fraction reduced to lowest terms. Now I'm going to convert the decimal 0 0.385 into a percentage. The trick to do that is you find your decimal place and you move it two spaces to the right. There's one, two spaces to the right. And I can write this number as 38.5. 38.5% is the percent version of the decimal 0 0.385. Don't forget to write your percentage sign. Now let's work with 7 over 8. We have the fraction. We want to be able to convert it into either of the other forms. I'm going to start by converting it to a decimal. To convert 7 over 8 into a decimal, we just divide the numerator by the denominator. We will do 7 divided by 8. Now we can do this in the calculator, or we can do it by pencil and paper. When required, be ready to do this division by pencil and paper. I'm not going to do it here because that's the subject for another video. But 7 divided by 8 gives 0 0.875. This is the decimal form of this fraction. Now we have to convert 0 0.875 into a percentage. Again, we move the decimal two spaces to the right. And we get 87.5%. Don't forget the percentage sign. Finally, we have 46%, and we want to be able to convert it to both a decimal and a fraction. To convert it to a decimal, we have to know that there is a decimal here after the 6. 46% means 46.0%. And to convert that percentage into a decimal, we move our decimal place two spaces to the left. So 46% becomes 0 0.46 in decimal form. To convert a percentage into a fraction is easy. Percent means out of 100. So what we do is we write a fraction with 100 as the denominator, and whatever we have as our percent goes in the numerator. 46% means 46 over 100. This fraction can be reduced, though, because the top and bottom have a common factor of 2. 46 divided by 2 is 23. 100 divided by 2 is 50. 23 fiftieths cannot be reduced any further, and is the fraction form of 46%. So what we can see is, if we learn a few techniques, we can convert any of decimal, fraction, or percent into either of the others, and this can make it very much easier to work with equations that mix decimal, fraction, and percent.